Hey guys and welcome to my tree cutting system tutorial part 2. First of all, uh, yeah, I want to do something to our mesh. I forgot in the last video, so let's open up our tree. Here you can just pull this into this and then go into object mode. Here, press 1 and then we select all and go up to flat. So we have now not a smooth but a better surface for yeah for 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 compiling and for better FPS. So press Alt H to bring the leaves back file export and export FPX and now we just import it into Unreal Engine. Make sure you have here built in and combine meshes unchecked, import all. And yeah, that's everything for this. Next up, we were working on our mesh again. Press H on the leaves and let them disappear. Select now the whole mesh and create a new material. Call this one wood. And a new material, call this tree cut. Go select the wood, go to texture, new texture, open and open up all wood texture. Go to tree cut, go to texture, new, open up our cut. Okay, now we want to separate the mesh. So go into edit mode, select everything, press Control R for the cut press left and press left again. You can play with these settings like you want. I just leave it as, as it is. So C to select everything, P to separate, go into object mode. Now both are selected, select only at the top. Go back again into edit mode, select this one, this, uh, separate and go into object mode and only select this. So now we can just rename it tree bot. Here is tree top. And this should be tree middle. Yeah, that's it for the separating. Now we're working uh, on the middle. So let's disappear this one and this. Zoom in, press press tab to go into edit mode, we press E to extrude and S for scaling and just write down 0.2 and we do the same for the bottom 0.2 and now we want to make a bridge between those two so select everything press spacebar and type in it was edge loop bridge edge loop so, yeah, that's it for this part. Now we can just make here a face and here a face. Select everything and press F for making a new face. Now we come to the more tricky part. So we select here the faces. We want to get all faces here on top. So just click Alt right to get the, yeah, the round shape. And then we want to get this one. So press Alt and Shift together to. Oops. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. So again, Alt right, Alt right. So to select all, everything, and then uh, press Shift to select this one. Um, yeah, together. So now we have selected these all. So we want to get the tree cut into this. So we press Assign. Then we bring back our UV editor. Here we open up our cut so we can see it. Now we have here our UV, so we go back here and press U. Um, for Smart UV or Unwrap, we will try Unwrap and this works. If it not works, you just use Smart UV, which is a bit better, but in this case we just need Unwrap. So if you don't find Unwrap, just type spacebar and you can search for anything. 
Okay, here we want to put this as far as possible to the right. So we have these yeah, these rings in the middle of of uh, of the image here yeah, on our mesh. So we do the same for the bottom. Hold and right, and now we press Shift to mark this. So we assign again the tree cut, and we press E before we go to cut, and now we press unwrap. Here we can, if we are here, we can press A to select all and G to to move it around. Okay. Next up, we do the same with the other part. So Alt H to, whoops, go back into object mode, and then Alt H to bring all back. So let this disappear in this, and now we go into edit and do the same. So we mark here everything. Here we can press just F to bring the whole to a face. So, oops. Uh, control Z to uh, to going back because I made a mistake. I just want to select this as our tree cut. So deselect, select, yeah, only this is now. Yeah, that's how we want. Okay. Here we go into the cut. Press unwrap. We press A and G. And we, that's it. Put this one. Go into object mode. And this and this disappear. And we go here. Press F for face. Go again. Just these selected. Tree cut. Assign this one. To cut. And we press. Unwrap A, G, and finished with this one. So now we can bring back all again, and now we can work on our split parts. So hide this one, this one, and this one. So we're here now, go to edit mode. And yeah, I show you how I do it with one, and you need to decide if you want everything or just the half or whatever, or you can also just the cut loop uh, make more separate so you have a lot more uh, things to cut so it's it depends on you and how much you will work on this so but I will start with one of them so first we go into this uh, vector mode or what is it called uh, vertex mode and yeah we want to select one of the parts so we press this one and then Alt Shift on this. Oh, no, this won't work. So just press Shift on everything you want. So get this, and we want the top to be selected. And yeah, then we can just press P to separate this. And then we want to make sure to have this magnet so we can yeah drag it perfect out and perfect in again. So we take our uh, tree middle one, <coughs> press G, and now you can press X because we are on the X axis. And now, if I go up and down, there will be no, no only movement on the X. And we have pressed this so it will snap to this grid, so we can perfectly bring this back in again. So we just press X, oops, so like this. Now we have perfect bringing it back. Okay, let's start. So bring it out. We see here our face is missing, so go into this mode. We select these four, press F, and we do the same for this one. So now we have we select everything and make sure that we here press on recalculate so the yeah the faces are on the right side. And now we want to assign our last material to this. So we go into edit mode, we select the face select, select those three faces. And on these three faces we want to assign the wood. And if we if you like you can also go into the UV to yeah, this looks a bit messy, so unwrap this. Let's see what smart UV makes. Yeah, that's better. So we have a yeah, a 
a, a vertical alignment. And yeah, that's all for one part. So if you want to stop now and just have one part to be cut it out, you just need the same to do for uh, for your whole part. So make sure that here is no no uh, hole. So just press F and do the same for this side. And then just assign again here the wood thing. But uh, I will skip now and make the whole mesh uh, separated and yeah, you know now how to do it and just stop the video and do it because it would take so much time. Before I finished I have uh, one tip for you, so just press 7 on the numpad and now you're on top auto and yeah, here you can just press C and select those meshes if you like. And yeah, piece separate and do that for the last all so I can stop. So now I'm finished with all my uh, separated parts and yeah, now we need to make faces of all of them. And yeah, I show you again at one and then I cut this. So go into edit, select all these, press F for face and do the same for the side, press F. Now we go into this mode, press A to deselect, press C to select and yeah, make sure we have those sides selected. Assign the wood. Go here into the wood. Scroll out and go to Smart UV. Press OK and it's finished. Now we just look how we pulled this out and just pull it in back again. So there needs a bit more. A bit more. And yeah snap perfect in. Okay, I stop here and do it for all. Oops, before I stop, don't forget, like I did, uh, to select everything and recalculate the normal, so we have the perfect size here. Yeah, and now I stop and start. Okay, I'm at the last one, so we make this together again. Press F. Here again. Select all, recalculate. Go into this mode. Select these, wood assign to wood UV, smart UV project, and you're finished. Go to top, go to object, and G, Y, and put it. Yeah, what a hell of a work. Okay, let's see. Now we have a small problem here because this one, if I pull this one out, it's just empty, so you can leave it empty if you want, or you just make it like before, select all, bridge those loops, and then calculate so it goes outside. And you can now just select these and make them wood too. So select these, this one, this. Better. Yeah, that looks better, and yeah, we can just bring it. First, we go this mode, and then we can bring this. Can zoom in to make the points smaller. So now that's it, and yeah, we're finished with this one. So I'll go into object mode, Alt H to bring everything back, and save this as tree. Cut and export the FBX tree. Cut, cut it like you want. Export and yeah, we can now start with Unreal. So we go into our main folder, a new one, call this one tree cut. So here would take a bit more time because I have a lot of small parts so build in combine meshes make sure to uncheck and go to build in and yeah import i cut here because it will take yeah and i just saw that uh, we are about at 15 minutes so uh, i will break this into a third part and yeah uh, we will continue with the destructible mesh in the second video and yeah thanks for watching and if you have any questions just leave a comment